Well, welcome to the show today. we got a pretty good show slated for you. We're actually going up to Tioga County, uh, northern Pennsylvania. We're going to North Country Outfitters. Uh, Jim Oman, uh, I had my outdoor show last year, and he was like, hey, I want you to come up and do some pheasant and chucker hunting. And I said, you know, I'd be more than happy to do that. I actually got some good friends along with me today. I got Lance Dunham, who you've seen on the show before. Uh, from LD Guide Service that we do a lot of fishing on the Susquehanna River. And I also got Steve Kaiser from Fairfield Auto Group down in Williamsport. And uh, we got along the the monster truck, uh, the Ram 1500 Outdoorsman Series. It's a nice truck, and I want to thank him for coming along. But all in all, we had a great day. Jim's a, Jim's a funny guy. He uh, You're going to see as the show goes along, he likes to rib and, and get on you a little bit when you miss. But that makes it fun when you're out there hunting. And, and all in all, we had a pretty good day. And I think you're going to enjoy this bird show. With that being said, let's get started in on the action. Yep, yep. So here we are today, folks. We're up in North Country Outfitters, up on uh, basically the Pennsylvania New York border. We're at North Country Outfitters with Jim Oman, he's the owner. And we got Lance Dunham, who you may recognize from some of the fishing shows that we've done over the years. And we also have Steve Kaiser from Fairfield Auto Group down in uh, Williamsport along today. And uh, we're going to see if we can go test our marksman skills. Lance is actually using a 410 pistol. I told him that uh, we may need to back him up on that, but we'll see as time goes on. And uh, But all in all, we're out here. It's a beautiful day. Snowed a little bit last night, but it melted already, and I think we're going to have a a good day and these dogs are actually fired up ready to go so i'm gonna grab my gun and we're gonna go see if we can get some birds what we do here is we could put the birds and plant them we could tuck their heads under and put them in, in cover what i like to do uh when we're hunting here is just let the birds fly as long as they'll go and fly at different spots as opposed to three or four in the same spot uh, i'll just let birds go here uh, we could go up in the, the other part of the property and let some other birds go uh, then we'll go get the dogs and guns and, and go have a hunt uh, as opposed to putting a bird down every 10 or 20 yards into a sorghum field or a cover and then go out and flush the birds and shoot them. This is, as you can see the area, if you, you know, pan around here, uh, we have a, uh, probably 300 acres in this section that we could go. Uh, and I don't crowd people. Uh, yeah, and you and I don't put a time limit on uh, how long you can hunt here. Uh, usually a two or three hour hunt is about all people have uh, enough energy for anyway. So uh, uh, you can have a morning hunt here or an afternoon hunt, but it's never you're never timed or crowded. Um, so what I'm going to do is just let a bird, one bird to go at a time and watch where they go and then uh, go from there. Come on, girl. Nothing like that sound. Some guys will say, well, I won't be able to find my bird. Well, the dogs will find them. Uh, and your problem will be to shoot them. We'll try and take care of that for you. And you never know where they're gonna go. Stand over here, Al. That's cool. And maybe we'll have a bird fly out the other way. Come on. Right into the back of the yeah. Oh. yeah, there we go. Now, like I say, we could take and put a bird with its head under it and stick it in some cover. You could take and drive by with a four-wheel and throw it in, or you could let them fly here. That bird will be there for another hour or so. Okay? Cool. do is go and, and have a hunt and once again it's not like a canned hunt where I put birds down in a, in a section and uh, we just come around and kick them out every 20 yards this is actually a hunting as best I can do like I was from uh, near Orangeville uh, Pennsylvania and I'd start off in the morning and just walk and start hunting birds and that's what I want to have done here uh, as you'll see the cover is the corn sorghum and and uh, 
uh, some uh, Sudan grass I have out here. And then it's just some other fallow ground is where we always found birds when it was growing up. So they're out here. So we're just going to go take the dogs and try to find them now. Knives and game processing kits for all outdoors are provided by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. All Outdoors with Alan Probst is being brought to you by Excalibur Crossbows, world's best crossbow, guaranteed. Duke Traps, America's best trap value. Exmark Mowers, professional grade mowing equipment. Mansfield University Fisheries Program. Tinks 69, America's number one buck lure. Thunder Valley Whitetails, makers of the Unimax feeders. Outdoor Edge Knives, quality knives for the big game hunter. Fairfield Dodge, home of the Big Country Edition. Level Lock Shooting Systems, Black Creek Enterprises, Leyland Taxidermy, Hart Rifles, Smithworks Outdoors, Summit Tree Stands, Hunter's Safety System, Ryden Corporation, F&T Post, Pipeline Ridge Outfitters, Flippin' Target Shooting Stands, Strut and Rut Energy Shots. Folks, I'm Dan Wallace, and I make my living in the backwoods. And people ask me, why do you use a recurve limb crossbow? Better question is, why would you use compound? Look, I'm tough on equipment, and I need a crossbow as tough and reliable as my four-wheel drive. If I happen to drop it out of a tree, or accidentally dry fire, or run over it with your pickup truck, try that with a compound crossbow, and you'll be the proud owner of a hundred little parts. So do yourself a favor and pick up an Excalibur, and find out why they're the four-wheel drive. In today's shaky economy, there is one sure safe investment, your college education. Education is an investment in yourself. It's an investment guaranteed to grow in value. It's an investment for life. Whether you're a high school senior or an adult, contact us at Mansfield University and we'll show you how to invest in yourself and your future today. Hey, Alan Probst here for Thunder Valley Whitetails Unimax Feeder. Uh, this is their feeder. It actually goes on any tree, 8, 12 inches in diameter, uh, ratchet straps in. It's just a fantastic product. We feed our deer, our bear, and our turkey on our property with them, and I think you can too. Make sure you stop by ThunderValleyWhitetails.com, check out their Unimax and their Ultimax, and I'm sure you'll be very, very satisfied if you choose to get one. Thunder Valley Whitetails, feeding your wildlife. Outdoor Edge's Game Processor is the highest quality 12-piece butchering set for deer, elk, game birds, and fish. Features the four essential knives for processing game, carbide sharpener, game shears, wood bone saw, rib cage spreader, cleaning gloves, carving fork, cutting board, complete with hard side carry case. Why pay a local butcher? Get the Game Processor and do it yourself. Call 800-447-EDGE or visit our website at OutdoorEdge.com. Now, back to Excalibur Crossbow's presentation of All Outdoors with Alan Probst. Recurve crossbows are way lighter weight. That means you've got a lot less to carry through the woods with you. They also are way more reliable. There is a lot less moving parts on a recurve style limb set. That means there's a lot less things to go wrong. And remember, reliability is everything because if your crossbow's in the shop, you're not going hunting. They're also way more accurate than the compound style crossbows because there's nothing to go out of tune, no cables to stretch, nothing to go out of timing, they are absolutely reliable as far as accuracy is concerned. Here come down. I had that beautiful one. Oh, that was a beautiful bird. Yeah. You know the first shot, I think I was right behind it. I think I hit it in the tail feather. You see it, see it flinch a little bit? Yet. I seen it flinch a little bit. The second shot, I was off. Yeah, I hear you. I'm sorry. That's what it's about, shooting. Wait till they got a little further. I mean, Pretty cool though. This is awesome. You gotta shoot, add, guys. Add a, good, add a good shot. You gotta shoot. <laughs> they actually, that bird I just shot at, they actually found it down there. So when that bird flinched on that first shot I took, I did end up in it. We'll take a look at it when we get down there. It's a hen pheasant, hen bird. 
You see the one BB I hit it with? Yeah, right there. <laughs> There's the hen that we shot at. As you can see, the plumage on them, they're just beautiful. Now the cockbirds have all the different colors, but uh, nice little pheasant. And we got more down through here. We'll get another chance. All in all, pretty good eating. Still warm, too. Is it? We just got it. <laughs> Heads up, guys. Whoa. Hippo! Here! <laughs> Didn't make that one. Oh my gosh. What happened there? Well, Here. the wind wasn't correct on that shot, so. Yeah, yeah. It went, went the other way. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't have the safety off, did you? Yeah, I don't like that. The safety? Yeah. Yeah, well, I have that's to follow that rule. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I, I need the safety on. Well, you had it. I had it dead on, and then I pulled the trigger and forgot to pull the safety. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I I do trips in in Africa. I guide for Cape Buffalo and those charging rhinos. Uh, remind me not to take you. <laughs> well, that's a little different. They, they'll run over and kill you. These that's a guys are different. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, trust me, I'm not gonna take you. I would have had that bird if Cape I didn't Buffalo have my safety Africa. on. Yeah. Okay. Shoot him out there. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready, guys? Now the first shot was a little quick. Okay, the first shot was a little quick. Let it get up, let it get out, and this one shot it. Okay. You're looking at me like, what's going on? No, I'm, I'm just paying attention. Yeah, don't I'm be upset sure. with me. I'm not. I'll I whack in the upset. side of the head with a corn stalk. I don't get upset. Okay. Thank there you, you go. Okay. Is that your first chucker? Nope. You got, you've shot chucker before? Yes, sir. Okay. You haven't shot any pheasants though before, have you? Yeah, I have. Okay. Not a whole lot. Not the way you shot at them today so far, though. No, it's been it's been a while. Okay. Okay. Here, I want me to put that in. Got a front loader. They're nice. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Well, why don't you move off to your left, Lance? It's gonna run up to the top. It's run. It's running up that that pine tree up there. Move right on with it there, Steve. Coming down. Watch where it lands, if you can. Hip. Move right with the dog, Lance. Which one? The one that's beeping. Look at the wind. Face him back this way. Whoa, Britta. Where's the bird? Huh? Where's the bird? Come right down here, Steve. Right here it is. <laughs> right in front of... It might be wounded. It might have a pellet or two. Yeah, they caught it. Oh, oh, I right lined up, up with the other There's dog. There's a chopper up yeah. there. Okay, you want to move up there? Let's not miss this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was three misses. Yeah, good shot. What is shooting there? You shot under it to let you know if that makes a difference to you on the next ones. Hey, Yo! Called the Judge. It shoots uh, 410 shotgun shells. Five rounds. And you just saw me miss three of them. <laughs> Put that safely in the holster. I'm sure we have a BB in the butt of that bird up here. We'll go up here and get it. Might be a quail. 
I say it's a quail. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The all new Flippin' Target Stand. The world's finest folding wooden target stand, made in the USA. Whether it's the sportsman, the pro, the qualifier, or the tactical model, you will be honing your shooting skills with these stands in no time. Each one is specifically designed for the shooter in you, whether shooting rifle, handgun, or practicing for an NRA qualifier event. Stop by FlippinTarget.com today and see the wide selections of made in the USA targets and accessories. Flip and Target Stands, the last target stand you will ever need. Dad. Didn't Mom say we had to cut the grass before we go hunting? <laughs> Don't worry, son. We'll make short order of that. Hi, I'm Bill Jordan, founder of Realtree. My life is all about family, friends, and the outdoors. If I spent all weekend cutting grass, I'd never get a chance to go hunting. Thanks to my Exmark Mower, I can cut two acres of grass in under an hour, get a professional cut, and more time outdoors. Trust Exmark. I do. The best mower is the most reliable service through a dealer near you. The Ride-On Pendulous Vision 360-degree tree seat is a great all-around seat for your hunting and outdoor recreational needs. Its lightweight aluminum design provides a comfortable ground-level seat with full 360-degree rotation for good vision in all direction. Its unique self-contained backpack system also allows for easy carrying. Ride-On also has a full line of muzzle-loading, cleaning, and shooting supplies proudly made in the USA. Check us out at rmcoxyoke.com or give us a call at 570-726-0291 for more information on any of our products. Animal damage is an ongoing battle for many property owners. For the most comprehensive animal damage control products on the market, make sure you check out All Outdoors, Minkin, Muskrat, and Coonan, and Thieverin. All four DVDs are fully chaptered and show you the methods and techniques that will help you control problem animals on or around your property. Make sure you call 866-471-7075 and get your All Outdoors Animal Control DVD today. Now, back to Excalibur Crossbow's presentation of All Outdoors with Alan Probst. My name is Jim Ullman. Uh, I'm the founder of North Country Outfitters. I'm sitting here at our cabins. Uh, we, we built these cabins in 2007 so that uh, people could come and visit us from any distance and stay on site. Uh, we can walk to our hunts from here. Uh, we raise pheasants, chucker, and quail. Uh, you can bring your own dogs if you'd like. We have our own dogs also. Uh, you can stay in the cabins, and we have two cabins. Uh, uh, on either side of the kitchen, uh, they sleep uh, four uh, in two bunk beds in each, and uh, the, the kitchen has, is uh, fully uh, equipped with a refrigerator, microwave, uh, coffee pots, refrigerator, like I said, refrigerator. Um, people come and stay in the, uh, the two bunk houses and, and eat, socialize in the kitchen. Uh, we have access to about uh, a thousand acres here, and mainly we hunt on about four or five hundred for pheasants. The birds are released, and then a lot of times we'll go to breakfast and come back and then our starter hunts if people stay overnight. Well, I wanted to take a little time and talk to you about the Big Country Ram 1500 edition that uh, I got down at Fairfield Dodge down in Muncie, PA. What a fantastic ride, though. Uh, it's got the 4-inch lift kit, 37-inch tires, uh, it's 4-wheel drive. It's a, it's a really nice vehicle. Dodge puts out a great vehicle here with the 1500, the Ram truck. Uh, this is the actual Outdoorsman series, and you can see here we got the Ram box. Uh, each side actually has one, and this box actually opens up. You can put your guns in here, the gun racks, uh, fishing rods. It has the fishing rack, or you put your clothing, you know, anything that you want to keep away from the elements. Uh, these boxes will work, but uh, with the lift kit, uh, the bigger tires, the Outdoorsman truck is, is something that every sportsman uh, could definitely use while you're out in the woods. You're not going to get stuck with this too many places, and, and it rides nice. And if you have the opportunity, I'd highly recommend you stop down, give a test drive on one of these new 1500s down at uh, Fairfield Dodge. And if they have a few there uh, with the lift kits, you'll see what I'm talking about as well. It actually rides very nice. But all in all, the Ram 1500 series from Dodge is a great vehicle. And uh, if an outdoorsman needs a ride that's going to get them 
to and fro uh, to the hunting places, this is the ride to do it. Tinks Magnetics will turn your hunting area into the local buck hangout by using a synthetic blend that triggers a buck's three key senses. Dominant, reproductive, and curiosity. Huh? Undetectable with a human nose, but what you can't smell drives bucks crazy. Tinks. With the human population expanding more and more into rural areas every day, animal control has become a growing concern for many of today's homeowners. If you are looking for a simple and inexpensive method for your animal control needs, Duke Traps offers the ultimate variety in live catch cage traps. All cage trap models are constructed to provide for exceptional durability with no harm ever occurring to the animals that are caught. With the largest and most complete product line of game traps in the world, Duke Traps is America's best trap value. It works here because we built it here. Excalibur, the world's most accurate hunting crossbow, guaranteed. Want to learn how the professionals tan their deer skins and animal furs? You will find the best kept secrets and money saving tips with the All Outdoors Instructional Wildlife Video Series Volume 3, Tanning Your Own Animal Fur or Deer Hide. This video has all the information you will need to do it yourself. Brain tanning, professional grade, and store-bought are the three methods covered in this two-hour DVD. Call 866-471-7075 or stop by allenpropes.com and get yours today. Control bacterial odors on your skin. Control your odor. During independent antimicrobial lab testing, Tinks Vanish with Biotrol technology killed 99.9997% of bacteria and proved to be the most effective product tested against the leading brands. Want more proof? Go to Tinks.com. Now, back to Excalibur Crossbow's presentation of All Outdoors with Alan Probst. As you can hear, when you, when you have that steady beep on the dogs, that means they're on point. And uh, they're going to probably flush out a chucker or something here right now. So let's see what happens here. I think I'll get lucky and have it come back this way. Good shot, Steve. Thank you. Whoa. Now, if it's a woodcock by chance, don't shoot it. Obviously. Where is it? Right here. Take your time. Sorry. Too close. You gotta let it get out of there, Steve. I did leave it get out. Oh, crime's so mighty, you're shooting them right at the end of your barrel. All right, you like girls, don't you? Good enough. This is a new jacket. Looks new. Relatively, yeah. Yeah. You don't do you too much hunting, it? no. Be you don't do too much hunting, no. Because no, I have a, I have two young kids now. I haven't been in years. Okay. It's a nice. Actually, trip. I put the other one on and it shrunk. <laughs> they have a way of doing that. Well, as you can see, we definitely emptied a lot of shells, and and we did get a few birds. We actually got probably about six to eight pheasants. 
uh, about a half a dozen chucker and, and a few quail. The quail have a tendency to hug the ground, as you can see, and, and you know, we're obviously not going to shoot at them on the ground. But all in all, what a fantastic day of hunting. And, and really, the way Jim does it there is fantastic. We showed you how we let the birds go. They fly where they want. We got all that land to hunt. And then we go out with the dogs and we hunt those birds. Um, all the birds that we left go, plus all the other birds that are still there, give us a great opportunity to get a lot of shooting in and a really fun time hunting. And all in all, I know that Lance had a good time. I know Steve did as well. And as you can see, Jim, he, uh, he definitely is going to not let you get away with missing too many birds without getting on you. But all in all, that makes for a fantastic day of hunting. I would highly recommend you get a, a, you know, in contact with him. He runs a fantastic operation. If you want to stay overnight, you saw the cabins. They're fantastic. And, and all in all, it's a nice place to get away in northern Pennsylvania and give yourself a chance to do some bird hunting. Make sure you check him out. You can also check us out at allenprobes.com. A lot of good things going on there. We'd love to see you stop by. Definitely, I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember to never take from nature. Just take what nature gives you. And we'll see you next time on All Outdoors.